Resilient effort by our guys. Obviously want to try to come away with the win, but was really pleased with the, some of the individual plays. I thought Bryce Perkins, you know, an unbelievable job just really being able to battle throughout the fourth down, being able to move the sticks with his legs and then giving us a chance at the end. Was really pleased with a lot of guys, but I thought our guys showed toughness tonight. I thought they continued to fight. There was a lot of adversity, probably too many flags uh, for our liking, but uh, all things that we can learn from. John, just real quick, I uh, want to check on a couple injuries. Yep. Uh, Tutu Atwell, Raymond Coy, Christian Roseboom went in the tent and came out, yep. and Tremaine Ingram. Yeah, so the only guys, you know, Tutu came back, so did Roseboom. Um, you know, with Calais, I think he got his foot pretty bad that he's going to require surgery. Um, you know, I'll have further updates for you. And then Ankrum, uh, I believe he'll be okay. He just kind of got his ankle rolled up on a little bit, but uh, I think he's going to be okay. Sean, we saw a lot from Xavier Jones and from Jake Funk. What did you see? Yeah, I saw a lot from Funk. I thought he did a good job. I thought Xavier made a couple plays. You saw him uh, catch a couple passes and, and be able to create a little bit, but I really felt Funk tonight. I thought he did a great job being able to create uh, you know, some explosive runs, one from the dot, you know, the one from the offset gun. This is extremely distracting yes. with the uh, fans <laughs> going crazy right outside. This is something I'm going to have to get used to. But um, it is, uh, it, it was good to see those guys be able to make some plays, Maria. Was that an improved the effort part? by the ground game overall? I think I was just pleased, you know, I think you got to go back and look at it. You know, we were in a little bit of a situation where you're playing from behind, so you're, you're throwing it a little bit more, but thought Bryce made some plays. I thought when we did be able to, you know, when we were able to kind of stick with running the football, there were some positives, but like anything else, Kevin, we'll be able to learn from it also. Coach, when you look at Bryce Parkins and you see the fluidity of the offense as well as his resilience, how, how does that measure up to you as far as your expectations? It's, it's exciting. You know, I thought he did a really good job, too, of being able to create off schedule, but also on schedule. You know, you look at the touchdown pass earlier in the game to Kendall Bland, being able to work through a progression. So I thought you saw a lot of really good things from him, uh, a lot of opportunities to, to evaluate, a lot of things really for him to be able to learn from. But I was really pl pleased with just his poise, his command and composure throughout the course of the game tonight. When the Raiders got good field position on punts, but your defense did a good job shutting them down. How happy are you with the defense after tonight? I was really happy with them. I thought they did a great job, Claudia. I thought they just continued to compete. You know, that stop, that interception that Bronte Harris had right in front of me, they're going in to really score right there to be able to flip the momentum and give ourselves a chance to go back. And now you uh, you got a decision whether you want to tie, and we know we're going to try to go for the win in that situation. And so, uh, really, I was pleased with the defense as a whole. I thought the turnover was huge, and we were able to capitalize in the first half. So a lot of positives from those guys tonight. Sean, was how it? did the punter situation sort of uh, escalate uh, this morning? And, uh... It escalated quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it kind of uh, – you know, so there was a, you know, there was a chance that, that we thought Johnny might have it. Um, and then, uh, you know, when, when it was confirmed that, that he did, then, then, you know, Corey ended up being a close contact for him. So we'll see. We'll have, have a little bit more uh, information, but obviously both those guys being on the COVID reserve, and we'll see when we can get them back. And then when did Matt, Gay, sorry, Matt Gay, uh, I think, hit special teams bingo tonight. What yeah. did you think about his performance and stepping in on the fly? I thought he did a good job. You know, and Wordle as well, being able to step in and, and hold – um, you know, that, that's not easy duty. We found that out literally this morning while we were doing the walkthrough. So didn't have any real time to prep. I think it's a real credit to Joe DeCamillis and Dwayne Stukes to have those guys be able to transition, but was really pleased with Matt and, uh, you know, his ability to just kind of step in and wear a lot of hats tonight. When did it become the plan? So Johnny tested positive? Uh, you know what? I don't want to get into the specifics about it. They're both placed on the COVID reserve list. And, uh, I mean, I kind of already said that, but um, that's, I'll just kind of leave it at that out of respect for those guys. Probably shouldn't have said that. When did it Thanks become, for getting me in trouble. <laughs> when did it become the plan for Bryce to play the whole? It, was, it wasn't really. Um, I think just based on the flow of the game, Kevin, you know, there was just some different opportunities. You wanted him to be able to respond back from the interception. He kind of got some good momentum. You wanted him to start the second half. And so that wasn't necessarily the plan. We just kind of had a uh, feel for it during the course of the game. Wanted to give him that opportunity, and we'll see what that looks like for next week.